Well, my career started probably when I was in high school, I could say. I love painting and I just love mixing colours and painting about stories that my grandmother had told me since I was a little girl. I thought, well, okay, here's an opportunity that I can actually use art as means of a, a medium that I can express my grandmother's stories. The painting Desert Flowers is quite a unique piece of artwork. It was one of those times in your life that it was a pivotal point. It happened when I was going through a divorce and it was one of those raw emotions that you go through, especially when you, you know, after 20 years of marriage, you decided to obviously close the door on, on your past. The misappropriation of my two images of the desert flowers happened about three years ago. My sister and myself, we were sitting um, on the lounge and she had a hot new iPhone. So as we were going through and looking at all the things I've done in the past, I came across this one little, pro one little window and it had an image and it was a window of a hotel room. And lo and behold, I couldn't read what was the writing because it was in another language, but I identified my name and it was inspired by Bibi Barber. So when I went into the link, I realised then that that was my artwork. Two of my images, there's a flower that was used to deck out a 44 room hotel in Poland, Warsaw, in Domyslaw, and to translate that onto carpet, onto tabletops, panelling, wall panels. So I thought, wow, this is a total violation of my human rights as an artist. My copyright licensing was violated and the moral rights. We've got a massive, rich culture that's so old. It's the oldest living culture in the world. And if your artwork is an expression of stories that's been passed down, it's priceless. But most importantly, is that your artistic rights as an artist and as a human being and your moral rights and your cultural heritage has to be fought for. Otherwise, people will just take it off you. And that's the beginning of this battle.